Want to shoot for a big company that pays well with amazing benefits but are too intimidated by the interview process? If so, then I made you a little something. Listen, you work in an industry that enjoys a lot of money and some amazing perks. For a sixth year in a row, Fortune ranked Google as the number one company of all companies, not just a tech company, the number one company to work for. They are known for turning away just about everyone. It's considered to be the hardest interview that you could have. Interviewing at big tech companies is hard. You have to remember concepts that you learned long ago, or if you're like me, you didn't learn them at all. Let's see if it works. Here's my code with my notes at the top, everything that we just created. At the bottom, I'm pushing one and two onto the stack and then popping it off. So I should see two and then one, which I do. The good news, it's doable. The first thing we're gonna do is review some concepts while working some simple problems. We'll build our own data structures and then dig into some common algorithms and strategies. When we're done practicing, we're gonna practice more. We do about 15 problems total in this video, but you need to practice at least 50 on your own to get yourself up to speed. I would encourage you to try and push yourself to at least 100 problems. The more you do, the faster you get. No, seriously, it really is doable. It just takes some hard work and a lot of study. So, you feeling freaked out yet? It's okay, everyone feels this way. So at the end of this production, you will hopefully amaze yourself at what you're able to accomplish, I promise you. I'll show you everything I can and point you to the very best resources you can find, but you're gonna have to put in the work. If you do, you'll have a great shot at being hired. Well, I checked myself uh, enough. I didn't get a chance to go through this uh, as much as I wanted to, but I feel pretty good about it. Let's check our code and see what happens. I have not run this code. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> I swear this was one take. Uh, if I screw up, I am more than happy to screw up and to go back and leave myself notes. But in this case, I did it. Maybe the help of some friends. I would do a little mental check here and it, it feels about right to me. This kind of feels ugly, but for three different cases, it's not too bad. We could generalize it later if we wanted. Uh, let's try running it. It's going to fail horribly. I know. Oh no, it's correct for everything. Woohoo! As if we expected anything else. <laughs> I am not the world's best coder, and I'm certainly no algorithm expert, but I know how to dig in and find out what I need to know to deliver a result. That is my specialty. Well, this one is, well, the way I think of it is it's two dimensional uh, because you have relationships in each one of the arrays, but you also have relationships between the arrays uh, that you need to consider. Um, these questions uh, have many variations. And one that I've seen before is uh, actually kind of fun, tic-tac-toe. Uh, we are given a tic-tac-toe board and, and you're asked who won. Sudoku is another one. Uh, is this a valid Sudoku board? Uh, and Minesweeper. I've seen Minesweeper as well. So they're all variations on this because each one of these guys is a list. In this production, we'll spend five and a half hours together and I'll show you the strategies that I used to get in the door at Microsoft, Avanad, and three Fortune 500 companies as a contractor. In addition, I enlist the help of my friend, John Skeet, who works at Google. He interviews people all the time. So I put him through the very same interview process that I faced once when I interviewed at Google. Five questions, 30 minutes apiece. All right, John, I have some bad news for you. Uh, <laughs> it looks like uh, C-sharp has lost the ability uh, to have a queue, a generic queue. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it does have some other data structures in it. Uh, I would like you to create a new Skeet queue, if you will. Uh, and, um, <laughs> right, yes. Create a, okay. ski, create a ski queue for me and use whatever data structures you need. Okay, so I, I want ski queue of T um, and I can't use Q of T, Correct. but I can use stack of T. Mm -hmm. So right, you should have a shared document open. I can see that you've joined. I'm using Google Documents just because uh, I am remote in this interview and uh, sometimes these things happen and you are at a remote office. We are not in the same location. Uh, and I want to be sure that I can watch you code real time because we don't have video abilities at this company. <laughs> okay. I want to see if you could do this with just an array. And, just and, and, and no link. No link. Uh, okay. Well, everything can be implemented, you know, without link. It's just, oh, it's, it's annoying. So, um, I think it was easy for him. Think again. So, 
at the moment, I don't know the solution. I've got sort of, I've definitely made progress in terms of rejecting ideas that are fairly obviously wrong fairly quickly and generalizing to something, you know, I have more true statements than I started with, so that's good. I still can't see what the solution is going to be. It definitely doesn't feel like a coding problem. This is a problem solving, slightly mathsy kind of problem. What I really wanted to see is, this is going to sound evil, but I wanted to see when you'd give up. <laughs> Which is, I know that sounds really bad, but at some point you're going to have to give up if you don't know the answer. Okay. I mean, this isn't something that you're going to beat out of your brain. <laughs> it's either going to happen or it's not. I made the video that I wish existed years ago when I interviewed at big tech companies. I needed to hear that it was possible that I could do it. You can do it. We'll do it together. Let's go.